Hey everyone, welcome back. And uh, like you, you may be confused by what is this difficulty Ethereum bomb people are talking about. Uh, I have no idea. And uh, are they going to raise it? What does it mean? Is it really part of the POS merge for Ethereum? I really don't know. So I found this article on Fortune and I thought we would just uh, read it together. School time, kiddies, let's get into it. Maybe we'll learn something and uh, get the facts, man. Instead of listening to everybody else, let's just read into these articles. See if we can make sense of what this Ethereum difficulty bomb really is. Okay, here we go. All right, guys. For reference, uh, what is today? I have no idea. It's April 5th. Uh, Cinco de Mayo, and it's the uh, that is based on the uh, Mexicans and the U.S. Uh, volunteers help fight off the French government or powers or whatever to kick them out of Mexico, right? Even though they stuck around for an extra year, then they whacked the head French guy and then they got rid of all the French. There, that's what Cinco de Mayo is. History time. All right. Anyway, something called a difficulty bomb could freeze the entire Ethereum network. What is it, and why is the blockchain delaying action? Ooh. Well, let me guess. If they mess with the Ethereum blockchain, and you have uh, NFTs, people making money, like the Ape guys, uh, DeFi, DApps, Decentralized, all these people are built upon this uh, Ethereum network, and you start messing with it, you're going to irk a lot of current users who are trying to make money. And you're going to make them run to other networks, other platforms. I don't know. Just my guess. Let's go through it. All right. Ethereum is about to undergo a massive change. The most used blockchain, which powers the second largest cryptocurrency by market value, is readying for a higher anticipated upgrade called the Merge. Not the purge. Well, it could be the purge because a lot of GPU miners like me are going to be hurting. It's going to be called the GPU purge. It's supposed to make it more eco-friendly and efficient. But there's a lot of money at stake. Exactly. It all comes down to money. And a lot of time devs and people on new projects don't understand money. They just want to do the techie stuff. I'm one of those guys. You just want to play, do the latest tech stacks, make cool stuff. They don't associate typically with the front of house, the business side, the money maker, the money decisions. Without those, it's symbiotic. Without the money, guys, you're nothing. You're not going to have a chair to sit in and be able to work on Solidity and Ethereum and all that crap or make stuff, right? All right, so it's about the money. All right, but there's a lot of money at stake. It could push its cryptocurrency, Ether, to surpass Bitcoins in terms of market cap. Money, money, money. That's what everyone thinks. It's going to call the flippening. I know that much where that means Ethereum will overtake Bitcoin's market cap. I don't see it. Bitcoin is liquid gold. Liquid gold? No, digital gold. Oh, my God. All right. But there's also a problem with a scary name, the difficulty bomb. Oh, these. this is getting ridiculous. All right. Here's what the difficulty bomb is, how it connects with the merge. Oh, thank you. And why Ethereum developers haven't delayed it. All right, understanding, uh, understanding the difficulty bomb requires understanding the merge. Ooh, I mean, I should have brought some popcorn. No, pop up, no. All right. Ethereum currently relies on proof of work, which is mining under which crypto miners must complete complex puzzles to validate transactions. This, project, uh, this process requires a huge amount of computer power and is often criticized owing to the environmental impact. Yeah, no, no, not really. The merge would shift Ethereum to proof of stake, whereby users would be able to validate transactions according to how many coins they contribute or stake to the network. The difficulty bomb was created by Ethereum developers in 2016 with the merge in mind. So the difficulty bomb was created by Ethereum developers in 2016 Interesting, with the merge in mind. Once introduced, the bomb will exponentially increase the difficulty level of puzzles required for proof-of-work mining, ultimately making that mining impossible to do. Oh, you bastards. Boo. Boo. As a miner, I say boo. All right. This would lead to what Ethereum developers call an ice age, where Ethereum's proof-of-work chain is forced to stop producing blocks 
which validate transactions through mining and phrase. Oh my God. I hate Ethereum. So when I do mine Ethereum now, I use two miners and it goes right to Bitcoin. I'm so sick of Ethereum other than making money on it. Uh, right. It's kind of a love hate relationship right now. The purpose of the bomb is straightforward. Ethereum developers hope that the bomb incentivizes miners to accept the merge, pushing adoption of the proof of stake uh, chain further. You know, my, you're just pissing off the miners, guys. You know, no one cares about the coin. They're just doing it because it's profitable. We're all going to pivot, go somewhere else, find another coin, or God forbid, get an ASIC. Oh, my God. Overpriced ASICs, guys, are today's fool's gold. Do not do it. They're overpriced, noisy. Most are, most, nah, most are getting better, but they're dedicated to one algorithm. Man, that algorithm tanks or goes away. You have a nice, expensive piece of metal sitting in your floor, man. It's just not worth the risk to me. Whereas GPUs, you can resell them to graphics people, gamers, or just keep them. I don't know. Oh, my God. However, if the bomb arrives before the merge is ready to launch and without proof of stake in place, it could well explode. Oh, dear God. This is awesome. I wonder who's running this show behind the scenes. There's got to be, hopefully, a visionary that is hurting the cats, the developers, and hurting the business end of it. Or is it just everyone's marching in a different direction? Which it sounds like total chaos, but that's development. And uh, I don't know. It can get pretty dicey pretty quickly. There you go. Put that on a t-shirt, I guess. I don't know. Uh, let's get through this. So risk here is that if we don't delay the bomb quickly enough, block times will slow down on Ethereum. The block times start slowing down by very little. But then every two weeks, it'll slow down doubles. Ethereum developer Tim Baiko told Fortune. I think this Timmy guy is the front-facing guy as well. He's always posting stuff on Twitter. And I think he's connected with the dev somehow. Sometimes, Tim, it's best not to tweet or talk at all. Less is more. So maybe that's, uh, maybe that's a tactic you need to take. All right. If the bomb goes off while developers are still testing the merge, they need to work extremely quickly to defuse it. Oh, my God. This is like a... This is like a Jason Bourne movie. But Baiko told Fortune that developers could delay the bomb in roughly uh, four weeks' time, saying that the process isn't difficult. Here is Tim, who's probably not a real developer. He's just speaking for the developers, and that's a mistake. you got to know exactly what your developers can and cannot do, their skills, their abilities. Some may be on vacation. Some just don't care. Some are looking to switch over to another algorithm. <laughs> I don't know. You never know. What's the attrition rate on some of these uh, organizations? I don't know. I don't know. All right. Even still, they're concerned with taking this see as we go approach. Yeah, exactly. There doesn't see anyone guiding this marching army anywhere. Uh, looks pretty bad to me. Uh, the concern is that it can get pretty dicey pretty quickly for devs once the bomb is activated. Uh, let's see. Despite concerns, developers decided not to push off the bomb, citing a few reasons. Well, you know, they had that NFT drop the uh, Yacht Ape thing, whatever that was, and uh, they put a lot of flood on the network and pretty much brought Ethereum to its knees, cranking the gas fees, irking every user, like the extra high gas fees. People are really sick of Ethereum now. I don't think they're in a good place uh, for miners, the users, to, and um, NFT people, DeFi. I don't know. I see this. I really think Ethereum, I was a fanboy at first. I think it's going to go, it's going to go broke. I think it's going to go down after and uh, wait, if it goes to proof of stake, it will go down. I, that's my prediction. Uh, not financial advice, but I just look at this stuff. They don't seem organized. This Baker guy is just out there not giving uh, focused deadlines, mission statements, objectives. He's just, oh, yeah, well, we have to defuse this thing. And he's using terms which are not very acceptable to the public, to users. If I hear these terms like difficulty bomb, I'm thinking, what is going on here? I don't hear that anywhere else. This is not good for not a good forward optic for this coin, for this algorithm, for this network. Anyway, uh, he goes on. The process for delaying the bomb would uh, create more work for developers. So given a huge desire for, from everyone to see the merge happen as soon as possible, if we can save a few weeks by not delaying the bomb, that might be worth it. Stop saying, you change the term, dude. You're branding, you're using the wrong terms. That's hurting this whole movement. Oh my God, this is not good. All right, even Ethereum co-founder, blah, 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 stepped in to support keeping the bomb as is, 
we have to evaluate the pain of doing an extra delay versus the pain of living with 21 or 25 second blocks for a while, which is something we have done before and the world didn't end. All right, whatever. But you still had miners supporting you. <laughs> Not everyone was sold on developers' explanations for holding off on delaying the bomb. Exactly. People are being skeptical now. Like, who is running this ship? Do any, does anyone have a vision, a game plan? Does anyone even know how to do like Gantt charts and schedule out milestones? Are you doing sprints? Are you getting anything done? <laughs> it doesn't sound like it. Uh, it just sounds like people like talking to Fortune and tweeting all day. I personally don't think this is a strong argument for keeping the bomb schedule as is. Uh, it's undue stress, in her opinion, on devs. But the bigger reason I think devs have held off on agreeing about a bomb delay uh, topic is optics. Oh my God, I'm like a clairvoyant. I already said that. It's First of all, calling it what it is is horrible. Having devs always tweet, or this, this Tim guy, you guys got to shut him down. He's making you look bad. To me, I'm a developer, an engineer for years, uh, crypto mining, all this stuff. He's not doing Ethereum any benefit by all his tweets, all his uncertainty, all his like double speak and stupid terms. Guy, you got to put him in the back office. Put him on testing. Put him on documentation. The guy is not helping Ethereum. Just my opinion. All right. For example, in a hypothetical situation, if developers push the bomb off to December, it would give them a good amount of time to work on the merge, conduct tests, and coordinate action. Sounds like Kim should be taking Tim's spot. Uh, yeah. I think mostly developers, if they're getting stressed, they're going to leave. They're going to take their Ethereum, cash it out, and leave because uh, it's not private. They can just go to exchange and dump it and then go work on some other algorithm or fork and do their own thing. That is a lot. That is a tr um, huge possibility when you're an in-demand developer that can actually chew gum and walk at the same time, but still look at other people's feet. That's a good thing to be an introverted computer guy in high demand, making 250000 plus. Yeah. Treat your devs right. Get them focused. You got to hurt them a little bit because they're a little stupid, but you got to hurt them and manage them. All right, let's go. As much as devs know the merge will happen when it happens, they probs, they probs, what does that mean? Don't want to be bombarded with more criticism or quit posting on Twitter and quit talking to magazines like Virgin. Oh my God. Oh, they don't be bombarded with criticism, hysteria, and just incorrect media saying the merge won't happen or it will happen to December just because the bomb got pushed back to then. Just stop talking about it. Just keep working. You don't owe it to anyone You're to, to freaking tell what your day-to-day -day ideas and thoughts are. They're just hurting themselves. Oh my God. As of now, developers are continuing to test the merge, the merge, after their most recent test. They found a multitude of issues. Oh my God. <clears throat> Here's the problem. In, as the, uh, having done software, you got guys working on the forward development features, keeping things new and fresh. When stuff happens during testing, there's another branch that is being tested while these guys are making new stuff. As stuff breaks, that baseline starts skewing. If you're in Git, it's you know you're branching off, working on that branch with issues, tracking them. Uh, the the core developers that are the are the ones uh, the uh, guys on point kind of get stopped, have to come back, help with the bug fixes, get that baseline, get that branch stable, test it again, and then rolled and merged back into the main head of the branch. Uh, so all four pro progress development stops while they try to get this test and this merge out. Uh, yeah. So your resources are really being, um, all four momentum is stopped as focus is made on this Z-bomb and the merge Z-merge and Z-bomb. Um, that's what I'm calling it now. See, that's actually sort of funny and maybe help their branding. I don't know. Having a client crash or hit a weird bug late in the process isn't delaying the merge. <laughs> All right. It's making sure that Ethereum doesn't go down during the upgrade which is the core thing we are all trying to achieve. Yeah, but I just said you're pulling resources off to make sure that Ethereum doesn't go down and fix the stuff that the point guys put into that branch. The testers found bugs. They got to circle back, as Jen Nutsacky says, and uh, fix those bugs. All forward momentum on anything else in Ethereum is stopped. Uh, guys, it's not looking good. I may be wrong. I may be an idiot. Uh, I was a government contractor, so I'm probably a real idiot for having done that, but it paid well. Uh, so 
intelligence versus street smart. I'd rather be street smart and use your spidey sense. And I don't know what's going on with this. This doesn't give me warm fuzzies. That is why when I mine Ethereum, I flip it to Bitcoin because I don't want to be holding this thing. When that merge happens and Ethereum goes down to a dollar, I don't know, man. It, it's not looking good in my humble opinion. All right, that's all I got to say about it. Just a little rant. Uh, just I don't like the indecisiveness, the, the forward office guys like Tim and Ed going out there posting crap and then not being self-assured, confident about what's going on and then kind of defending against the stuff others are saying. You don't have to do that, dude. Just keep working. Keep your mouth shut. Keep working and just do it. You're out there making more problems for yourself. All right, what do you guys think? Do anyone really care? I don't really care anymore. Uh, let's go forth. Keep mining Ethereum. So you can't mine it anymore. Flip it to Bitcoin as soon as you can. And uh, yeah, not financial advice because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just an idiot uh, in South Florida looking at a tree, right? All right, go forth. I got to find my dog. We're going to go take the dog on a bike run and he's going to have a good day. All right, get out, get some sunshine. I'll talk to you all later. Stop.